clinical evaluation of subacromial impingement and rotator cuff tears. What are the tests used to evaluate subacromial impingement and rotator cuff tears? These are a sample of the tests that are used to evaluate shoulder impingement and rotator cuff pathology or rotator cuff tear. We start with the near test for subacromial impingement. Patient is standing or sitting upright. The examiner will passively elevate the pronated arm of the patient above the level of the shoulder. Pain at the anterolateral aspect of the shoulder indicates a positive finding of subacromial impingement. Hawkins test. The patient is standing or sitting upright with the arm fully adducted and forwardly flexed. The elbow is also flexed. The examiner will place one hand on the patient's shoulder and apply internal rotation to the affected arm with the other hand. Pain at the shoulder indicates subacromial impingement. How about drop arm test? Patient is standing or sitting upright. The patient is asked to hold the arm in abduction at the level of the shoulder, then is smoothly adduct the arm. In a normal rotator cuff strength, the patient can lower the arm smoothly, gradually to the side. A patient suffering from rotator cuff tear will not be able to hold the arm in abduction and the arm will drop rapidly. Job's test is a popular test and it tests the supraspinatus tendon. The patient is standing or sitting upright. The arm should be anteriorly flexed at the level of the shoulder. Fully pronate the arm into the empty can position. The patient should resist the downward force applied on the forearm by the examiner. Pain or weakness indicates supraspinatus tendon tear or pathology. Another test is adduction and external rotation test. This is the test used for the infraspinatus muscle. The infraspinatus muscle is predominantly an external rotator of the shoulder with the arm adducted. The patient is standing with the affected arm adducted and the elbow flexed at 90 degrees. The examiner will test external rotation of the shoulder with the arm adducted against resistance. Testing external rotation of the arm against resistance will test the infraspinatus muscle function. The belly press test. The patient is standing with the hand of the affected arm rested against the abdomen with the elbow anterior to the mid axillary line. The patient is then asked to press the belly using the affected arm without moving the elbow. Failure to maintain the elbow anterior to the mid axillary line while pressing against the belly indicates subscapular tear. The lift-off test. The lift-off test tests the subscapularis tendon. It's a very popular test. The patient is standing with the affected arm internally rotated behind the back so that the dorsum of the hand will be resting on the lumbar area. The examiner will passively lift the arm away from the patient back. Once the examiner releases the arm, failure to maintain the position of the arm away from the back indicates a subscapularis tendon tear. 
Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.